It all started now This day's a turning point in my life The day I begin Living my life from the inside out And I am transformed I am transformed Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Maria Merkovich a host for Family Today, and I'm also a life coach. How many of you would like to have a little bit more self-love, and how many of you would like to sabotage it less? Today I have a guest who's gonna have a little demonstration of, um, of a little bit of love, and a demonstration of a dish that is under 20 minutes to make with the families that are rushing and not eating as well and not loving themselves as much. Here she is, Gina Bagrovich. Welcome, Gina. Thank and you. Welcome to Family Today. And Gina is also a life coach and, and she completed certification with Peak Potential Training. So she went through um, being... Um, uh, I studied also, yes, you're right, yes. with Tony Robbins and Peak Potential. Yes. Um, great topic uh, because we do talk about love uh -huh. and we talk about food and we incorporate it with family. Uh -huh. So with nowadays, people are always in a rush uh -huh. and they want to eat fast, but they also want to eat healthy. Uh -huh. So what I came up with and I was like, what am I going to do that's going to be healthy for my children when they come home from school, when they're having events, Thanks. everybody's busy, if it's from work, 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 or having fa um, kids like I mentioned. So I figured family cooking under 20 minutes. Okay. What I started doing is preparing meals that maybe were pre-made uh -huh. and then finish it at home. Mm -hmm. or I could just start everything from scratch, but you, make it shorter period of you time. You also do a lot of slow cooked meals, which is a lot healthier than, you know, fast or foods. That is right, yes. yes. And um, you became a vegetarian many X amount of years ago, and how was that for you? So did you're you right, I did become a vegetarian, and that's how I started out. I started doing the slow cooked foods at home. I really savored the moment of cooking it, mm -hmm. knowing what ingredients were going into Giving my food. Giving it love. When you I really cooking. gave it love, yeah. Mm -hmm. I prayed over my food. Mm -hmm. and, and I tried to be more aware of my health, my body. Um, what I also started doing, praying with my family around the table. We also started meditating. Mm -hmm. You know, that was another thing that I incorporated with my children so they could have downtime when they are about to go to sleep, so they are so they are more rested, and, and also eat. You you mentioned before we started taping that you you try to relax them before they eat, so they don't eat as fast, because slow eating is also essential. That is correct. That's yes. what you mentioned to me before we we started taping, <laughs> which is before which we is started great, talking about which it. Is yes. great. But what would you say about vegetarian? How did it make you feel like? So going back to the vegetarian, what it made me feel like I was, I had more energy being mm -hmm. a vegetarian. I cut a lot of the fat out mm -hmm. um, in the porks and chicken. Um, the vegetarian, I felt more whole, mm -hmm. eating healthier, clean, clean eating, clean, clean eating. living. Yeah. Yes, yes. Did you also uh, implement some fish into your vegetarianism? Yes, I did put fish. Some people choose to be completely vegan. I like to have a little bit of the fish and the eggs, uh -huh, you know, part uh -huh. of my so, diet. Today we, we got some emails from, um, from a very um, worldwide known uh, person, Louise Hayes. Yes, Louise and Hayes. And she, she um, emailed me three things to love yourself, which is um, don't criticize yourself. Um, it's, it, there's a lot of criticism of self. Um, and also like an automatic pile, you're not even conscious of it. You could say, oh, I'm so stupid because I, I, I did this, this, and this. And, um, you know, oh, what was I saying? So imagine, uh, be aware of yourself not doing that. It takes work and time, but also this is better for your health. And second of that all... That is key, health. Yes. Yeah, second sure. of all was before you go to bed, don't imagine the worst. Think of good things like uh, <laughs> rainfalls, uh, flowers, listening to, music, good music, sure. uh, listening to good music, 
um, and also really thinking of of good things, flowers, mountains, uh, where would you like to go on vacation, uh, if you like um, uh, the air in, in the country, you know, think of those things, and just, uh, you have to make a shift though, and be aware that you are not uh, thinking of, uh, of other things, like what, what was going on today, or ju just when you hit that pillow, just, just think of good things, try to think of good things, and then incorporate that into your everyday life. And now, uh, Gina, are you ready to demonstrate a little bit of, um, of your... I will be showing you a sample of our apple walnut arugula salad, coming right up. Hi everyone and we are back and we are back here to demonstrate a quick meal under 20 minutes and here is Gina demonstrating and what do we have here Gina? Yes well we have a lovely um, salad that we're gonna do it is an apple walnut arugula salad and, and so, carrots and carrots okay so the main thing is the apple arugula salad um, I love walnuts in okay. my salads. Usually people put in their recipes pecans, but I prefer walnuts. And I will be adding carrots this time. Yes. Also, I will put a little bit of grapes, some Parmesan cheese. We got a little mozzarella cheese and mm -hmm. some celery with our dressing. Oh, you also put the mozzarella. That's good. Yes. That's yes. good. My children prefer having mozzarella because they don't like having a lot of gorgonzola cheese, which is preferable for an arugula yes. salad. Children, uh, no children likes uh, go -go -go like a, like a gorgonzola or children, a strong cheese. Children. Yes. yes. So, and um, so with our salad, we wanted to keep it under twenty minutes. And um, for today, we're going to be sampling uh, the arugula salad, which is nice greens, a lot of iron in the uh, salads. Mm -hmm. You could also use a spring mix. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. We got wonderful apples. I sliced them up already just to put Did in. Did you go apple picking? Uh, we went <laughs> apple picking this year. It was a wonderful time to do some apple picking with your family, friends. Yes, yes. It's a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we also have our walnuts, carrots we're going to chop up. I prefer putting an egg in the salad. Mm -hmm. You want to have some kind of protein. Mm -hmm. You could also do grilled shrimp, mm -hmm. grilled salmon. You can also do the grilled chicken. Chicken. Or preferably baked mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. you want more of a protein it's very easy to do i see you have organic um eggs, eggs. Yes. organic that's yes, a good point preferable. organic is definitely clean eating it's mm -hmm. better for you mm -hmm. um we definitely switched over to organic with all our uh foods at home mm -hmm. um it's a little bit more costly but it's worth it mm -hmm. um and also we have our grapes and celery we have our apple that I we're going to put in. I also see you took a bottle of water. Yes, the water. And um, wh what is the water for? Well, that's a good thing that you mentioned. Water is phenomenal for you. Okay. Everything we do, our body's made up of water. Okay. So drinking water two glasses before the morning mm -hmm. is great. They say eight glasses a day. Eight ounce glasses of yes. water a day is wonderful for your body system. It detoxes you. It helps you have more energy. It gives you a boost. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives your skin a glow, which you have already. <laughs> but it really is wonderful to have healthy foods, um, water. Does, any water you, does is your very family good. drink water with the meals? My family, that's all we do is drink water. You, you took them out of the milk? We took them out of milk. We took them out of apple juice because my children are having so much sugar. Yes. I go, I need to do something yes. about this and mm -hmm. change our diet system. And it's not even diet system because mm -hmm. we do have a little bit of everything to eat. Sure. It's more healthy eating. And they might not be crazy about salad, but by giving them a protein, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. a shrimp, a chicken, they'll have their vegetables, celery, carrots, mm -hmm. corn. People love corn. We put a little avocado in our salad, which... Mm -hmm you know, you could add on to. Yes, you That's could add no on That's no problem. To, definitely. So for now, I am gonna start demonstrating the salad, what I like to do. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put in the beautiful green, crisp arugula. Okay, I'm gonna mix some up there. I'm gonna take that okay. out, thank you. 
What I like to do then is take my apples, I pre-slice them, so it's just easier for me to um, add on. Mm -hmm. It takes- You can make a smaller, a smaller I You could slice. definitely chop them up and slice them. I have wonderful red apples from Granny Smith apples to mm -hmm. Fiji apples, mm -hmm. red delicious or phenomenal in salads. So that looks really beautiful, it's nice and bright. You know, people like colorful food. Food, yes. You know, you, you get more attracted to it. It's yes. like, wow, what is that? I want to eat it instead of just something dull and boring. <laughs> it's like, no, that's okay. So now I'm going to put some um, carrots, carrots in. What I can do is just chop it up. That's no problem. I'll do it one, two, three. Okay. You Easy. can do it slowly, yes. You know, I just chop up my carrots. And this is all under 20 minutes. Yes. You know, going back to the 20 minutes, if you want to add mm -hmm. a piece of chicken, you put it in your chicken first. Mm -hmm. So so you pre-grill it just before your family comes home, you have that chicken ready for exactly. your salad. Exactly. And also, um, even That's if nice. you want to incorporate for the kids, sometimes they like shellfish, which I know you're not... Um, fan about but you know they, the kids like sometimes shrimps, shrimps incorporated yes. with their salad absolutely but your little one likes salads yes Mimi I, likes salads. you know yes, I, I was really salad. pleasantly <laughs> surprised the other day Mimi I like salads and I'm like okay that's yeah. fine I never heard a child say that but that's the first for me you know culture your show talks about culture and entertainment yes. and all. And that's the beauty of it. You know, we take our children everywhere. We travel around the world, world almost. Yes. And we give them a chance to try different foods and cuisines. And as I'm putting in the apples here, and yes. um, the grapes, excuse me. Um, that's you, a plus. They'll, they'll try. That's why mm -hmm. Mila got into having a little bit of green salad and... Yes, she Trying loves to travel foods. to Italy. She loves traveling to Italy. And she loves all the foods, including fish. You know, fish. for a little girl exactly. of five, she, she certainly is, you know, eating very healthy. Exactly. Yes, good, good. We let them have a little bit of everything they Everything, try. yes. And here, I'm slicing up some beautiful... Grapes. Grapes mixed They could in. be red, red grapes. Red grapes, absolutely, that's very good. And I see you have some celery there. Yes, I'm going to put in the celery, if you want to help me put in the celery. Sure. And we're going to put the mozzarella cheese mix in. There we go. And now the celery. So you're going to slice them or just... I'm um, going... You know what? Yeah, I will just slice, slice them. You could slice one. Here's the Parmesan just cheese one. if yes. you like to add on. Okay, so, so the gonna, Parmesan cheese. Beautiful. Is this okay? Nice. You could grate it too. Grated cheese is easy, but mm -hmm. if you like to eat it chunky, that's preference. Basically preference. Preference. The green, the celery is wonderful for... Uh, less water retention, you know, all the carrots, vitamin oh, yes. C, yes. Parmesan cheese, very good for you if you're going to choose any other cheeses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Do you think this is wholesome, the, the Parmigiano I cheese? I think so. I think it's wholesome. Yes, Thank it you. is. They do sell it in a wholesome food stores. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Parmigiano. The Parmesan cheese mm -hmm. we prefer doing, sure. And of course with pasta, what we love to do is do shaved Parmesan yeah. cheese right on which mm -hmm. is phenomenal. I know you kids like the Parmesan just like that, you know, like little chunks. Yeah, yes. they'll eat it. Yes. Maybe with a little bit of a breadstick, bread a little stick. bit of bread. And I see you brought the breadsticks. Yes. And uh, what do they have, cinnamon? We have cinnamon breadsticks at okay. home that we do. We do uh, sesame, se se sesame? Uh, breadsticks, yes. Okay. And plain ones. Plain ones are phenomenal. Yes. But we like to have a little texture into it. Yes. So that's why I prefer doing a cinnamon um, sesame. Yes. Bread stick. And now we are going to do some of the eggs. I diced up already. Whole organic brown eggs. Delicious. I love the color of the eggs. I love the brown eggs. The brown eggs, yes. Pretty soon we'll have our own garden in our yard, <laughs> but for and, now. And that, that a lot of families are doing their own garden because they want to save uh, from pest uh, the food from pesticide, pesticide so it has more vitamins in it. That is right. Because by the time your food, your vegetables come in the house, the vitamins are not all there. And so, go ahead. I, I agree. Want. You know, you're killing all of this rich vitamins that mm -hmm. we're supposed to eat mm -hmm. with pesticides, with non-organic. So eating healthy again is very mm -hmm. good for you, very good for our health, our blood, everything. So do, let me go back to sure. the water. I know I asked you before, do you use non-fluoride water? Good point. We do not. We switched over. We looked, researched 
having fluoride, it's mm -hmm. killing your inside. It's, it's making your brain dead. So we try to do all non-fluoride waters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's very good. Yeah. So um, I would love to ask you for the brand of uh, the water, but well, for now you're you're demonstrating the we're salad. We're doing the salads today. Yes, because I, I I did the research myself with the water, and a lot of it has fluoride water, which it does um, kill brain cells. Mm -hmm. it, it it doesn't make you as um, what would you say, aware? Aware, aware. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the toothpaste, it. Even right? the toothpaste, you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. oh, a lot of things, but now we're focusing on the salad. We're going to do the salad. <laughs> yeah, that will be for another segment. <laughs> Part two, right? Of segment number Part two. Part two. But what I have today is a mango poppy seed salad dressing. Okay. Why I chose mango? Because we love mango. Yes. That too. That's a type of fruit that you could add onto your salad mm -hmm. that is delicious. And it's sweet. So you have that wanting of eating healthy, sweet food yes. without the sugar in it. Without the sugar in it, yes. Poppy seed, mango, um, champagne vinaigrette, oil, balsamic oil and vinegar. Vinegar. Extra mm -hmm. virgin olive oil vinegar, awesome for the salad. And also like a blue cheese or ranch dressing mm -hmm. is great to put on um, the salad. So what I'm going to do now is put some dressing in. Mm -hmm. Nice and vibrant, beautiful golden tone and I see you the brought dressing. some uh, walnuts yes can you please help me put some sure. walnuts in sure that's the icing on the cake thank you I'm gonna grab a handful here that is the icing I got pre-chopped walnuts again if you choose to do sliced almonds you could toast them um, in the oven like for five minutes oh yes 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 that's How a would wonderful that? idea like sometimes I even eat uh, the whole uh, walnut. Yes. But I do uh, roast them a little bit. Roasting in a little How bit is awesome. How many minutes would you say? I would say about 350 for 5-10 minutes and just watch it. It depends on the oven. I think that's great. So that do you good. use a, car a caramel to, to car caramelize? Ca yes, caramelize. Yes, you, you can do that. Um, you could do just a regular onion. Today I chose not to, but onions are also a lot of vitamin Okay, and onions and, uh, you know, when you are roasting the, going back to the walnuts, when you roast the walnuts, yes, you do uh, just roast them just as, as is. As is, yes. Nothing, uh, you know, that you put some many sweeteners or anything, natural sweeteners. Natural I'm sweeteners, yeah, yeah. No, I, I choose just to roast just it Just to for roast them and, like they, and they uh, taste better. They taste good. They, they taste good. They have a nice good. roasty flavor. <laughs> and it's warm. It's warm. The it's salad warm. is warmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, so what would else would you recommend? What to else the salad? I could recommend? Um, like I mentioned before, you could choose a different type of vegetable mixed in okay. to the salad. Yes. Um, any kind of poultry, meat, mm -hmm. fish, mm -hmm. salmon is very healthy also, has the omega three. Putting in shrimp, even fish. Uh, a white fish is beautiful for it. Do kids like salmon? I mean, I, I'm asking you because you do have kids. Other um, kids, Small maybe. kids. Yeah, other kids may prefer having salmon. It's habitual, isn't it? It's habitual. Everything it's is habit forming. So as early as you can, and of course, check with your doctors, I think it's good to, to start implementing good foods to your children's diet. Would yes. you like to try? Yes, that? we are going to toss the salad here. Okay. Right, there we go. Looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are going to put this on our plates. The green, the crispiness. Beautiful. Mm, good, good. Delish. Now the other okay. one. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit there. Some. There we go. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm going to give you a fork. Thank you. We'll try on our salad, see how it is. And you could have a grissini. Yes. Breadsticks. The breadsticks are if awesome. If you would like to have it with, with, with the food. Thank you. Yes. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. You see how the dressing combines everything together. It's really good. It's really good. Oh my God. I prefer getting also, because we were going back to the 20 minute meals, to get a pre-washed salad. Mm -hmm. They're triple washed salads. And if you choose not to, you could get, you know, the box salad and mm -hmm. take care of it yourself while you're having a piece of fish or chicken on the stovetop. Mm. Prepare this in 20 minutes, no problem. Oh, this is delicious, Gina. It's really delicious. Mm. 
how so. crisp the apple is. Mm. So what would you advise uh, people to get um, organic eggs? Organic eggs. Carrots. Carrots, very good vitamin C. And if you don't have carrots or any of these ingredients, you could still do the salad as you want. That is correct, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, and we'll be right back. It all started now. This day's a turning point in my life. The day I begin living my life from the inside out. And I am transformed. Hi, everyone. We're back again with Gina. And uh, now you want to, to mention about, you know, possibly having. A, a soup, a, a vegetable soup, is it? Or that is something right. that yes. is not as um, time consuming? Another thing that's also quick um, and, easy, and to easy to do is a vegetable soup. I prefer using um, zucchini in my soup, carrots, onions, um, garlic, a little salt and pepper, and a little olive oil. Mm -hmm. With my vegetable soup, I also use chicken stock. Why do I use chicken stock? Because I like the flavor for it. Mm -hmm. um, there's also vegetable broth that you can get. Yes. That's also very tasty. Or, or you just mentioned before, you don't even have to. Like your family uh, doesn't right. really always want the, the chicken stock. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you put the, the, the onions and garlic that take, and the celery and carrots that take all that um, flavor. It, it makes flavor in that water that yes. you put. Yes. So how much water do you put in, in the pot, for example? I would say I would put about two quarts of water. Two liters, uh, maybe? Two liters. And, um, yeah, you, you're right. You could do just um, having soup with water and uh, onions, carrots, a little thyme, a little uh, sage, a little oregano. You could put all kinds of herbs into it, too. But like I mentioned, I prefer using a little bit of the chicken, chicken broth, broth on mine. Yes, yes. And then, it's, you know, my soup usually cooks for about an hour because I make a really big pot <laughs> of soup, you know, for a couple of days. Um, but if you do want to make it at a shorter period of time, it's under 20 minutes. Yes. You use smaller ingredients to make for how much it is for your family. Yes, smaller amount of water, as you mentioned. Then I said the liters because yes. I was thinking of a bigger family. Sure, but, sure. But, okay, let's start with two liters of water. Yes, two waters. And that will be for how many people? I would say about six people Okay. for soup. Yes, it depends how much soup they want to And eat. it depends on yes. how much soup, that is One correct. One ladle of, uh, of soup per person. Yes, yes. So, so then you put you put a lot of um, greenery like a zucchini. I like the zucchini because it keeps it nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we also do a little bit of celery, celery. in our soup. Mm -hmm. uh, garlic you mentioned. Garlic, onions, onions. Uh, uh, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. Two tablespoons of olive oil gives it a nice flavor, some richness to it, yes. and a little bit more texture. Yes. Carrots How we like to put in. How long do you cook it for? I cook it when I make the big pot again, almost an hour, but you can do it for under 20 minutes, the yes, soup, definitely yes, yes. under 20 minutes. And it's hearty. You know, you it's can hearty. make it lighter and mm -hmm. cook it for less, but if you want to incorporate more vegetables and it to be more savory, then you just add on more mm -hmm. um, Let me greens. ask you, do you use a potato and then you squash it? or Potato's great because, yes, because it definitely it fills it, you up, yeah. gives you that starch to hold in uh -huh. your broth also. Uh-huh, okay, got yeah. it. So do you, at the end, put pastina there? Any, any pastina you choose? Sure, I do put a pastina. I do like a little alphabet pastina, of course, for the for children, the but you can use anything, like tubellini pastinas. Oh, tubettini, okay. Tubettini, yes. And, and you could put any pastina you would any choose. Any pastina. Even I used to uh, use uh, Nona's uh, recipes. Okay. And she used to have the spaghetti, and then if she didn't have pastina, she just used to, um, you know, break the spaghetti to yes. make it into a small pastina. So, like, if you don't have all the ingredients at home, you could choose to substitute implement or substitute. Implement. Yes. Of course. Yes, and of course, uh, vegetable soup is always healthy for you and your families to enjoy and, uh, and to make. Uh, I mean, if you make one part of... Uh, of soup, vegetable soup, yes. in an hour, maybe you will have it for other two, three days ahead of you. So, of exactly. course, it's going to not take that long. 
But if you do that, just like when you grill chicken, let's go back yes. to the chicken, you grill it and then you have it ready for the night. So that will take only 20 minutes for the night. Um, so we only have about two minutes. Do you want to say uh, what, what you put in this beautiful salad so people could enjoy and try it at home? Definitely, definitely. Again, what we started out with. Just to recap. To recap, we started with the arugula salad. It was wonderfully made with mm -hmm. love. With love. <laughs> with love. We added apples. We had the apple sliced. We did a chopped walnuts. walnuts. We did the carrots, organic eggs. eggs. Awesome. Awesome to mm -hmm. hard boil the eggs. You could do, even do a soft boil egg and have the yellow yolk showing. Mm -hmm. That gives a beautiful presentation also and it tastes very good. Uh, we did a little bit of the Parmesan cheese and we did also mozzarella chopped up, mm -hmm. which was great. Got it. We put some grapes and celery and of course my favorite dressing was the mango dressing. And how do you, how do you, do you have a recipe for that? I don't have the recipe for this particular dressing because I bought it store bought but you can make your own uh, salad dressing if you want mm -hmm. to make something spontaneous. You could do a little olive oil, extra um, virgin of course. Yeah. We do a balsamic vinegar yeah, right. and if you have a Dijon mustard or a mustard at home, yes. you mix it all together it tastes beautifully, add a little salt and pepper. You could also do a little garlic powder and onion powder to give it a nice combination. Maybe put a little bit of uh, an herb if you like. And then voila, we have everything voila. set up. Yes, very good. Thank you so much for coming thank to you. my show, Gina. I really appreciate it so much. And now I would like to thank you, dear viewers, for joining us. Next, we will have a great show for you and your families to enjoy. So until then, Goodbye for now and see you soon. And please subscribe on YouTube. On YouTube. Thank, Thank you. you. It all started now. This day's a turning point in my life. The day I begin living my life from the inside out. Transformed. I am transformed. It all started.